Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As we move away from one project, which you saw yesterday, it's the same day for me, but it's a different day for you. We're coming in to the brewery, and we're gonna start the day. All of that that happened yesterday happened before 9.30 on, uh, let's have a look, Thursday morning. So I managed to salvage one of the wheels off of that running barrel that we've found on uh, yesterday's vlog. That's the wheel there because the old tire on our running barra has got a bulgy puncture, so we're just gonna throw that in the bin. Might save the bolts and the split rim. Uh, but yeah, I just need to wheel this into the workshop and give it some air, because the tires are a touch on the flat side. And then we're gonna continue with control panel builds and installing all of these LEDs. Oh, I better take this apart. I had to heat the uh, valve up to get it out. Quite dangerous if it's previously had propane in those uh, propane tanks, but this is decades old and full of water. Anyway, that was yesterday's vlog. Today's vlog is more brewery related. So we've got beer garden -y stuff going on first. We were meant to do this the other day, but it rained yesterday. Uh, it's pretty clear today, so we should get away with it. So, um, I didn't realise how many of these small baskets we had, so I've not bought enough plants. So we'll be coming back to a couple of those. So I like to put the petunias in. I think they put a good show of colour on for the summertime. And then uh, on this corner of railing here, we get, sometimes if there's any kids in the beer garden, they climb over this wall and, you know, go around the railings, the little shits. So, uh, instead of putting a sign up or trying to deter him, prickly rose. <laughs> a natural deterrent, that'll do the job. Spike him to death. And then uh, I've planted this basket up. This one was semi-destroyed in the corner here last year because we had a leaking gutter bracket up there, but there was a wasp nest at the back of the tiles somewhere, so I didn't want to go up and fix it because it was a busy nest so hopefully this will put on a show this year it's probably space to put one more plant there as well but we'll see there's four petunias and two fuchsias in there should give us a nice show and then here we've got a fuchsia that made it from last year we'll keep him in and then some reds this side all petunias some lovely I think this one's called Cobalt. Really nice colour. Bit of a breeze coming in off the canal. And then this is a little bit of a dry desert, kind of no man's land area. So we did try and plant some stuff in, and then obviously when we put the marquee up last year, the uh, the guys from the tent company st stood all over them. We've got a dicentra coming there, that's called Bleeding Heart. This I think's Mallow. So what I thought I'd do is throw some Sylvia in, or Salvia, and uh, some Lupins. So we've got two different colours of Lupins to go in, or maybe three. I thought I bought particular colours, but obviously not random ones. But we've got some nice blue ones there, so we'll have those in. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, six for 20 quid, that was the deal. So these should manage all right in the full sun. Relatively dry bed. I think they'll be fine. And they're tall, because this bed's quite deep before it gets to the soil, so hopefully they'll put on a show. We'll see. And then these are probably, I picked them up because they were cheap, but these are more winter, autumn through to summer flowering, I believe. We'll see. I might be wrong, it might be summer through to autumn. But they're not very big, so they'll probably get lost in here behind this. You know what I mean? Behind the wall, so to speak. Not really the ideal bed for them. But a couple of years ago, when we had the first round of uh, buying perennials for the place, we did pick up a nice Hebe, some lavender, and these beautiful Cynanthus, and this is just the bees love it 
looks like it's going to continue to flower as well there's some buds on there so hopefully we we'll get a good bloom off of this and the hebe has done well year after year and of course we inherited this peony in fact there's two of them in here and they put on a beautiful show they're about to burst by the looks of things so i'm going to fill the rest of these baskets up and uh, put some hangers on the wall two hangers to go up there and then maybe a few hangers on the fence posts perhaps i found a little friend all right mr toad you carry on doing your thing i'll not disturb you so the idea is this is a little bit of a wild corner with all this ivy often gets in the way so I'm just cutting it back I've, I've tried to kill some of it back we, you can see with the yellow leaves but we're by the canal so I can't go mad with weed killer you see because it's toxic to aquatic life so I have to do it bit by bit spot treatment and it doesn't seem to work Anyway, I want to dig this bed over so I can condition the soil a little bit. There's no point putting any plants in here as it is. They'll have no chance. Everything finished with uh, half an hour to spare before we open. So we've got all the umbrellas in position ready to go up. We'll put them up already because I've had to cut a little bit off the bottom of them. They were too tall and they were, they were bending around in the breeze. Somewhat silly. And I thought they'd just snap. All right, Matt. So uh, they are up now. I'm ready for the hot weather. I've sorted out my little bed. Some lovely uh, bedding plants in there and hopefully that'll come back at the back. That's like a mallow. And there's dicentra there. And then uh, where it all caves in down the edge, I've just filled it in with like bricks and put these two slabs on top. And I'm thinking, perfect place to site a cannon, don't you think? I think we're going to be building a cannon for that. So, let's have a look at some of the hanging baskets. They're all completed. Hopefully, they'll put on a good show this year. I do like the colours. And I've tried to keep most of them single colour. And then, along with whatever fuchsia I've got in that first one, hopefully they match. These, though, are... They're the same colour in that one, but one or two of them are random because I ran out of plants. So we'll see how we get on with that. But there we are. Jobs are good and oh, we've got the roses in over there as well to deter the kids from climbing over the fence. There's the boys. You know what, folks? It's end of the day. I didn't get round to doing any of this so uh, it just ran away with me I've got one two three four five heat pads to install one two three control panels to completely rebuild and then one to just retrofit with the fuse and the LEDs on the front there. So I'll just leave all this stuff out for tomorrow. This is all the tackle here ready to go. They're the heat pads. Um, I've got some larger squidgy connectors. These are the gel connectors, but the fittings don't fit in them very well. So I've upgraded. We're gonna put these big ones in. Oh, it just snapped in my fingers. So, I probably can't get this open one-handed. No. Ah. Ah, sod it. And then I've also bought some more Wagos. And we've got some some one-way. One-way Wagos. So I'm hoping that these are going to fit into You know what? That's probably torn on the box. I don't know why I'm doing it one-handed. Yeah, I'm hoping, oh, because I'm filming, of course. But I'm hoping that these are small enough to fit in there, but I don't think they are looking at that. Probably not. Looking at how wide that is. 
kind of how wide that is. They might fit, we'll see. But these little inline Wagos are superb. So, anyway, that's it. Probably boring you a little bit now, aren't I? Um, I'm sure there's something that I wanted to tell you about, but I've totally forgotten. Um, but that's it. I'm going to wrap it up, boys and girls. So we'll see you on the next vlog. This is a nice short one for you, isn't it? Instead of like a 30-hour marathon. Cheers. <laughs>